Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to our channel. Again, I am Eduardo Gulpan. And in today's video guys, I am going to show you on how to calculate the due date excluding the holidays and weekends. To give you an idea guys, let me show you this sample. For example, uh, starting date is June 1, 2024 and then let us count up to 15 days. So the result is 624 or June 24, 2024. And uh, let us check our calendar. So starting from June 1, but 1 and 2 belongs to weekend. So let us start to count from June 3. So 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So June 21 should be the 15 days but as you can see guys it's 24 the reason is when we see our holiday table we have holiday in June 12 which is the Independence Day that's why we add another one day that's why instead of June 21 the result is June 24 so another sample guys let us change this to 7 days so June 1 and let us count 7 days so we will start to June 3 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so the result is June 11 and this is correct guys so how to do this if you are still interested please watch this video until the end and please do subscribe if you have not yet subscribe let us create another sample guys first thing to do is to create a table we will create a, a table for holiday so let's uh, put holiday date then this is um, date data type and then the holiday name okay it's correct and then close yes um, tbl holiday yes then um, let's try okay Let's put a, um, a sample data. Let's call Independence Day. Sorry, Independence Day. Plus, yes. And now let us create um, another table for the transaction. So, for example, trans ID, and this is auto number then start date so that is date and then um, work this that is number so close yes a sample table yes so now how we have the table for the transaction so we will create a form guys so click this table and then go to create menu and then click this form and here we go we have now that table we have to okay adjust something and then let us add another text box this is for the Judith okay Judith and this one also the name is Judith okay save form okay let's show you all and then guys um, now let us create a function so take it from function just click this create and then create this uh, click this module now let us type function uh, let's for example working this only then start date as um, date then work this as integer or number then in close parenthesis then the data type of this um, function is date so put that okay now dim sorry current that as that 
then dem holiday as database object sorry record set okay now let us set the holidays set holidays equals current um, db dot open record set then open parenthesis and then don't forget to put uh, double code so this is a simple uh, SQL script guys so select um, sorry holiday from what's the name of that sorry the name of the table is this one TBL holiday okay and then double quote okay so holiday this is the name of the field for the holiday then uh, let's proceed current um, date is equals to start date this one guys start date so now okay I'll copy paste this working this only is equals to uh, current that okay this one so now let us create um <coughs> What we call this one the loop so do while uh, work this or work day only work day because without this okay work day then greater than zero current it is add one so how to add one so let's use this add. This is the way, guys, on how to add days, months, or minutes, seconds in the uh, date format. So, example D. And then we have to add one. And then from current date. Okay, and close. Then, if weekday, someone current greater than or less than one and also week d again is current date so this is for the this is to exclude guys the uh, weekends holiday Let's find first okay holiday equals format and Current date. What's the format? I like mm dash dd or this, then year. And double quote, hashtag double quote. By the way, before I forget, I have to put exclude weekends. So this line. Then if holiday, if holiday is no match, then work work this a uh, work day without this. This equals to work the minus one and f. Then love. Okay. Only okay if if so I have to put another f two f's so um working this only okay and then I have to copy paste this guys copy and then close then now I have to create a query query design then uh, sample table bring down all the fields 
then press F2 to zoom now I have to put uh, Judith then paste so start it then work this this one guys start it and work this okay let's try for example 6 1 24 then 30 days wrong what if 15 days wrong again so what happened let me check my um code okay working this only start date so it's correct work this start it so something um, something wrong with my code working this only as current did working this only start it as did work the as ah sorry 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 guys this one integer close let's try okay guys so it's working now so six seven then ten this it's still 24 six five then three this then let's try guys let us check our calculator for this one June 5 and then three this one two three so it's correct now let us proceed to the form guys how to apply this in BBA code so this one start date let's go to before update or oh, after update sorry after update then click this three dots code builder then click OK so me that Judith is equals to paste then the name of this is start date and work this so me that start date then me that uh, work this let's try um, for example 20 enter ok 11 let's put 3 um by the way okay after update or I will copy this one call okay uh, five so 627 let's check 620 then let's count 5 this 1 2 3 4 5 so 27 it's correct guys so for example um, 1 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, 5 Okay, it's correct, it's correct. And then what if we have holiday? We have holiday in um uh, okay six six so okay reference all The result is 618. Let's try, guys. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
but the result is 18 because we have holiday in 12 and 6. That's why the result is 18. So this is correct, guys. So this is the end of our video. I hope you like this video, guys. And by the way, if you want to get a copy of this uh, file, uh, you can download this. I'll put the link below. But there's a password, encrypted password. So the password of this is ECG2024. Again, ECG2024. So that's all, guys. I hope uh, it helps you a lot. And if you have not yet subscribed once again, please do subscribe. Thank you and see you in my next video.